Good morning, brothers. Today is Tuesday, April 30th. I'm Eli Donnell. And I'm Oliver Rogers. Let's get you caught up on the latest around campus. Here's your latest headlines. For the first time in five months, NASA engineers received interpretable information from spacecraft Voyager 1. Currently, Voyager 1 is 15 billion miles away and dates 46 years old. NASA is still revealing the data gain, so be on the lookout for that information when it's released. In the coastal town of Dunsboro, Australia, 160 pilot whales were beached. Sadly, 28 whales died. But after the hard work from rescue teams, 130 whales returned home safely to sea. Lastly, the U.S. Senate voted in favor of the possible ban of global social media platform TikTok. If its owners, ByteDance, fails to sell the app over the next 9 to 12 months, the app will be banned. We have a lot of fun things happening in the entertainment corner. Let's head over to Maddie to get you caught up. Hey Bulls, Maddie Smith here with your latest updates in entertainment. After the successful performance of Little Mermaid earlier this month, brought to you by the Bulls Theater Company, 15 of your performers from this show have been nominated for Broadway Star of the Future. Many congrats to them. Speaking of congrats, congratulations to my fellow TV production students as they took home several first and second trophies last Thursday at the Jim Harbin Awards. The winning categories include music video, animation, news feature, news show, instructional video, drama, and PSA. That's all for entertainment. Have a great day. Back to you at the desk. Exam season has already begun for some students. Good luck with all of your up-and-coming tests. For the rest of the school, regular exams will officially begin in just under one month. Study hard and good luck. For lunch today, we have a choice of spicy chicken sandwich, Domino pizzas, popcorn chicken bowl, and choice of fresh fruit. We are counting down our last days of spring sports, so let's hand it over to Levi with your latest in Bulls Athletics. Long time no see Bulls, it's Levi Farb here in the sports corner. Good luck to the baseball team and the softball team as they begin their playoffs this week in the district tournaments. Be sure to come out to support your Bulls and buy your tickets on the GoFan app. Anyone interested in spring or summer wrestling? See Coach Small in room 6135 for information. Do you have a younger sibling or family member? Registration for the Little Bulls camp and various sports camps held by PCHS are officially open. Spots go fast, so register quickly. Best of luck to all of our athletes this week. Bring home the win. Back to you at the desk. Thanks for the update, Levi. Seniors, great news. Only four days left of high school. For the rest of us, we have 18 days until summer vacation, not including weekends. Hang in there, Bulls. The 2023-2024 year is almost over. Fun fact, Americans eat enough hot dogs on the 4th of July to stretch from Washington, D.C. to Los Angeles, California, five times. True fact, let's head to Elsie with our weather update. Hey everyone, Elsie Haddow here with your weather. Today has a high temperature of 89 degrees and a low temperature of 67 degrees. The next couple days report similar weather, only different by a few degrees. I'm Elsie Hadaway. see you next time. Thanks, Elsie. As we said earlier, exam season is coming up quick. If you need help with school or studying, NHS peer tutors are available on Tuesdays from 2.30 to 3.30 in room 5136. No signups needed, just stop on by. If you'd like to see something aired on the news, send us an email at pchstvproduction at gmail.com. If you miss the show, head to our YouTube page, like and subscribe to see all things happening around campus. Also, follow us on our Instagram at News. Be sure to tune back in tomorrow morning for the latest news around campus. We hope you have an amazing day, and as always, Go, Go Bulls! Bulls.